Hello fellow island riders, glad to have you along for the adventure again today. Today we're picking it up here on the Morel River at Indian Bridge. We got some kayakers down there getting uh, set off for a nice journey. Um, I am seeing fish jump and break the surface. So we're going to get right at it um, because we're meeting Brandon here. He's coming back from a trip from Nova Scotia and we're going moto camping again. Um, and I brought the fly gear. I didn't bring the, the chest waders, but I definitely brought the fly gear. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to get down there and check it out. But basically, you know, the idea today, I've got some cool spots picked out to go and explore. So um, while I get set up with the fly gear here, why don't we head back to the garage and we'll take a quick look at the maps, get an idea of where we're headed this time around. All right, so the plan again, like I was mentioning, was to do a little bit of exploration of some areas that I found interesting on the maps here. And we're back down east for this one, a little bit close to where we were back when we were doing the fly fishing and moto camping series. So the spots that I'm interested are in this area here near Little Pond, just below the Fortune River area. The area of interest essentially is this whole like area right in here. You can see you have these little marshland areas. You can see the grade is basically overall much lower. Anyway, usually what we do is we kind of look at these maps and, and we look for these little black track lines. So like here's one that extends from the 310 to the 314 right here and it has some that branch off of it. Usually these black tracks are kind of like, you know, trails that you might be able to get your Jeep into and you might be able to not get them out of it <laughs> or it might be a good four wheeling area for like ATVs. But for us on the KLR650 and the DR650, they are, you know, the perfect type of trail to look for. And usually when we start scouting these trails out and we end up doing this kind of trail scouting, we find ATV trails almost every time. And it turns out to be like an incredibly new, awesome new route unlocked. So the goal for the first day is to go from find out if this section of trail here extends beyond or if there are any other adjacent trails to it. The other goal is to see if we can connect the 310 here to the 314 and make a nice run out of this and see if these other branching black tracks can connect us up for a nice loop maybe. That would be ideal. From there we're going to end up going to the Fortune River and that's up in this direction here. So we can see Rollo Bay here, we've got Surrey this way, and we've got Fortune River that just runs right up in here. Now, last time we went moto camping, we found a really cool little fishing spot along this river and it was in this location. But I also remarked that might be a really good moto camping spot. So we're gonna go check that out and see how well that stands up that way. For the next day, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna track all up along this area and we're gonna go back and we're gonna try to find Goose River Road. Now we've been up there last fall and we saw how it looked in the fall and just before the winter hit, but I'd really like to see what it looks like trying to get through there in the middle of the summer. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it through. It was pretty sketchy last time we went and looked at it, but I'm interested to see if that changes at all. Yeah, just getting coordinated here. Sweet. Getting back into the to the ride posture. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we definitely know there's fish in the water. <laughs> so Brandon's hooked up with us here um, from his trip to Nova Scotia. He was on. He didn't take the bike to Nova Scotia, but he was on. Uh, he took the car. Just a family visit quick one like we did back in New Brunswick actually it's a good season for it you know borders are open and stuff but we're all packed up we're ready to go our first objective today is to check out lot line road just above Bodden River and Bodden Bay so all the while doing this the goal is to kind of string together a lot of dirt 
roads to get us where we want to go to. I played around in the maps and I found a way to do that a little bit, but Prince Edward Island is definitely the place to go. But this trip in and itself is more or less a bit of a test trip before our big, big, big trip, I would say. Not super huge trip, but big trip of the year, which is going to be to Cape Breton and along the Cabot Trail. So we're checking gear, we're checking kit, we're checking out our moto camp and set up, and we're having a good time. And we're doing some fishing. And we're doing all sorts of things. <laughs> all right, broken pavement. It's getting a little choppier here. As we say, the trail deteriorates, or in this case, the, the road. <laughs> it's returning to its natural state of being. Any 300 series road on Prince Edward Island naturally wants to become a, a dirt road and despite people's best efforts, it's always going to be trying to go to dirt, <laughs> which I love. But it's a little reckless through here. Oh, that's not a problem. Wow, wow, wow. Now we're getting into some garbage. I like this. A little bit of chop. <laughs> darkened right up in here holy you can tell it's gotten quite a bit sloppy big rock yeah we've been having a crazy amount of wow that's really muddy there we had a crazy amount of rain And it's, uh, it's definitely showing on the dirt roads. <laughs> Especially these ones that are obviously not traveled too often. I love it though. Do you like potatoes? Oh yeah, this comes out. Sweet. Shortcut. That's what this is. Redmond's Lane. Redmond, build your house here, bud. I'm close to the fishing. What do you think that is? I think that's somebody's house back there? Yeah, let's let's take a smell of that. Let's have a little sniff. Seems weird that it's all compact. Yeah. This is how we discover a cult in DEI. Oh yeah, that's right. I think this is a bridge to nowhere, man. Oh well, maybe not. Is it field access? Maybe. Yeah, it is. I can see cut grass. Whole beer can. Yeah, it's all field access road. Oh, okay. Where's the look, though? It yeah, kind of sure. looks like it continues down below, but I don't think it does. I think this was just, I think this is the recent cut of hay. Yeah, probably. We'll back right out of here then. So it's the best looking field access road I've seen in a long time. It, That's why I kind of took and stood up and took notice of it. It is really nice. It's <laughs> surprisingly nice. Like I wouldn't be surprised if it does go down further back to more fields. Yeah. So that's something I get asked a lot, you know, when I do these videos and people are watching me like dart down roads and like, why do I, I skip one road and not the other? Why do I go down this one and not the other? Like, and it's primarily because there's so many of these field access roads. There's so many of these little roads that just dart off into the woods. And how do you know which one's safe to take? How do you know which one you should be on and which one you should steer clear on? Well, it's, there's no real science to it. It's a lot of intuition and it's a lot of having grown up on a farm and knowing what field access looks like. 
like for here seeing that with crushed rock compacted man to me there's probably no field on the other end of that plus i can't see however if you look at a road and you know you're traveling around fields like if i knew there was a field there and there was one there and then i seen a road that kind of just like darts into it but it, it's only like dual track like dual you know wheel tracks i'm pretty much saying that's like a field road so i stay out of it you know but it doesn't hurt to go exploring i mean that's what these bikes are all about that's what all of this is all about getting out there and exploring and trying to find out new places you never thought you knew about so what's an example on prince Edward island of something that isn't a field access road that's a good idea maybe go to explore through well demonstration wood lots are good uh brandon found one recently that we have yet to check out um and these are like first of all they're identified with like a green sign and a yellow acorn you've seen them all the time on this channel on these videos that we've been doing um the glen for example is a demonstration woodlot valley field we were up through there we found that one but those ones are like just kind of like grassy whoa all okay, right that's a little buddy grassy little roads that seem to go off into the deep woods and they don't go into a field they go into the woods so that's a that's a good little safe place to explore of course as always when you're going through that know when it's time to turn around like if you're getting to a point where you're riding through it and you feel like you're doing damage to the ecosystem around there it's time to pack her up and turn her around but if it's a nice well air worn area and you see that pickup trucks have been through there may as well go take a look you know take a peek as we say <laughs> yeah i got something straight ahead Yeah, now see, this is a good example of what is a road to go explore. It's got a stop sign. I mean, and it's got ATV tracks. So I'm gonna trail lights are up here. I'll see where it takes us. Right. What do we got here? a little ruddy here wild this is a uh, blueberry these are blueberry tracks neat Want to get some drone footage of you riding around through it? Sure. Yeah.
Sorry for the hold up. Let's have at her again, I guess. I knew this had something cool up in here. 